welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today, I am, as the title says, doing 20 facts about myself. The first reason is it's kind of in honor of the fact that I'm turning 20. Uh, well, by the time this video goes up, I will be 20, but I'm not yet. And that is why I decided to do 20 facts. And the second reason is my YouTube channel did turn two this month. So I wanted to do something where you guys could get to know a little bit more about me. Because I feel like you guys are my friends and you should know a bit more about me. So let's go ahead and get started. Fact number one is that I am a 90s baby. 1997 to be exact, but yes, I am still a 90s baby, even though late 90s. But like I've mentioned before, I did grow up with more of a 90s childhood because my sisters were from the early 90s. Fact number two is that I am a January baby. Yeah! Cheers to all the other January babies or Aquarius people. Fact number three is that when I was born, I only weighed five pounds. I was a very tiny baby. The doctors and the nurses and everyone believed I was premature. A funny story is a week after I was born, my cousin was born. And when my parents went to visit her in the hospital, they took me along, of course. And the nurses didn't want to let my mom leave with me because they thought I was the baby that had just been born, not my cousin. So yeah, I was a very tiny baby and, well, I didn't grow too much, so there's that. Another funny story about me being a baby is that I was actually born in the hospital lobby. It would have been the elevator. Hey, okay, well, the story goes that my mom was, since I was a third child born to her, she was a lot more relaxed about it all and she was just waiting it out because she didn't want to spend too much time in the hospital. So by the time they got there in the parking lot, she went into labor because she waited too long and... So my dad um, laid her down on the floor because the elevator wasn't, wasn't working or something like that to get to the actual building. I don't know how they, I don't know exactly the details, but they ended up in the building. I think they got an elevator to work or something like that. And the nurses were telling my dad to push me back into my mom, my poor mom. And me as a baby, I imagine that was not very nice. But yes, they were telling her to push me back in because they wanted to wait till my mom was in the room to help her give labor and everything. But if you think about it, I kind of wonder what was going through their mind because it's like, if a baby's ready to come out, it's ready to come out. Why would you keep pushing it in? Like, it could cause serious damage. Luckily, from what I know of, I'm fine. <laughs> but yes, and so when my mom was so mad about them pushing me back in because she said it hurt really bad, as I imagine it would, and so she finally, like, told my dad to stop and just let me come out and so I was born in the lobby and a lot of people came to visit me and my mom because I was a little lobby baby. <laughs> fact number five is that I am the youngest of three and fact number six I have two older sisters. Fact number seven is that I was knocked out by a tether ball and for those of you who don't know what a tether ball is it's pretty much a pole with a string tying a yellow ball to it. It's somewhat of a volleyball style ball you pretty much have to hit it back and forth but I have always said that sports and I don't enjoy playing them either but yeah, and like I mentioned before I was really tiny so the kids would get really aggressive and competitive when it came to playing and so I don't remember the kid but I have an idea of who it might have been but yeah he basically hit it too hard and it hit me here and I passed out yeah that was embarrassing fact number eight is that I am five feet tall. Exactly, it's kind of sad. I just made it. And like I've said before, I have always been a very small person. So, I mean, you know, that's why you get knocked out by tether balls. But to be honest, I, my whole childhood, I was always told, oh no, you're gonna grow, you're gonna hit a big growth spurt, you're gonna be taller than your sisters, and I would look forward to it. And then in seventh grade, I was five feet and then in eighth grade I was still five feet and ninth grade I was still five feet and I was like yeah no I hit my limit I was like this is sad I thought I'd get further than this and I am the shortest of my sisters like by quite a bit so it just it was quite disappointing realizing I wasn't gonna grow anymore but it's okay and then fact number nine is that I have a broken nose although I guess technically it's healed by now but yeah, we went to a neurologist once and they did an MRI scan on me and the doctor said that my brain was functioning fine but that they saw in the MRI that my nose was broken and me and my mom just stared at each other like, it's broken? What do you mean? But I've always kind of known something was wrong with my nose because right here, like, 
lump's weird and the bone doesn't really connect with the other bone. And also I've never really liked the shape of my nose. I feel like it's a bit too droopy. And for the longest, I plan to get nose surgery. But now that I'm kind of over nose surgery and I'm just like, eh, well at the end of the day, it's my nose. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm more okay and accepting of it. But yes, I wanted nose surgery for the longest because I hate it with the shape of my nose. But it's pretty sure it has to do because of the fact that it's broken. But yeah, I didn't know, so we don't know how I broke it or when I broke it. But it's broken. <laughs> fact number 10 is that I've wanted my nose pierced since second grade. I know that you're like, what the heck, second grade? <laughs> Why were you thinking about this stuff? But it's because of the TA that worked in my classroom. She had a nose piercing and it looked so nice and she would change it out. So she always had like a different colored stud and it was so nice and I remember I was like, I want one. And I've wanted one ever since. And when I turned 18, well, it took me a while to actually decide like, yeah, I'm gonna go get it done and convince my parents to let me since I was 18. And yeah, so I got my nose pierced and I still get excited about it to this day. I'll be like looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, I have a nose piercing, oh my God. And I get excited all over again. So I hope it sticks around for quite a few years. But yes, I wanted it since second grade. So I'm so happy I have it now, finally. Like if I could tell my second grade self that I was gonna get a nose piercing, I wonder what my reaction would have been. Fact number 11 is that I got my nose piercing 11 years after I wanted it. So that's quite a long wait, 11 years, but finally I got it. Number 12 is that I am a vegetarian and I am planning to go vegan, but I'm still working on it. And it's kind of hard since I still live in my parents' home and they're not vegetarian or anything like that. Fact number 13 is that I am a huge animal lover. I love animals so much. But fact number 14 is that I am a dog lover. I don't mind cats. They're cool and everything, but I definitely prefer dogs over cats. And yeah, I just want so many dogs. But it sucks because I like medium or large dogs, but I can't handle them because I'm not big enough to. <laughs> and yeah, they overpower me very easily, so I'm gonna have to stick with smaller dogs, but that's okay because they're kind of easier to cuddle with and carry but yes i love dogs so much i wish i could rescue all of them fact number 15 is that i've never been in a relationship and like i said before i am 20 but i don't really care either because i don't see what the rush is you know i'm so glad i didn't date in high school there was just way too much drama and i'm pretty sure i would have regretted a lot of it fact number 16 is that i love cold weather but the cold weather i am talking about is la cold so not super cold I enjoy weather in like the 50s. That's really nice because below the 50s I'm freezing because like I've said I'm a tiny person. So yes, I get really cold in 50 and below 50 but I love 50 weather. Or even if it's like in the 60s but very windy, I love that weather. It's so nice and relaxing and I can't deal with the heat. I do so bad in the heat. Fact number 17 is that my first concert was a Dead Masquerade tour and I believe I was 13 at the time. Fact number 18 is about smoking. I am not a smoker, just to clear that up, but as a kid I always thought I would grow up to be a smoker. I don't know why. It's just, it's really hard to explain it, but I always believed I would. Like, like it was a given I was gonna smoke when I could although since the law changed now I technically can't legally smoke but yeah I don't smoke but I as a kid I like I knew I was going to fact number 19 is that I love reading mainly fiction but I do enjoy reading about history too as long as it's not like super boringly written you know with like the extremely difficult words and I'm like what's going on but yes, I do enjoy reading very much. I just love the fact that you could be transported into that world and kind of leave and just like sort of see the characters grow and get to know them and all of that. I just, I love the whole concept of reading. Fact 20, as of course you've noticed, I'm sure, is that I have a lisp. But the funny story is that I never realized I had one till I think seventh grade, where some kid pointed it out and I was like, what the heck is a lisp? And he told me and I was just like, I've never noticed. And then a master's boyfriend pointed out a couple like months later or something. She's like, I had never noticed. I was like, yeah, I know some kid pointed it out to me a couple months ago and I didn't know either. And it, 
we just think it's so funny how we were so used to it that none of us ever noticed. But yes, I was very surprised to find out I had a lisp and now I hear it so much. So yeah, I kind of wish I didn't know, but what can you do? But also I think it's because my tongue, well, because my teeth are quite big, so they overlap a lot. So I don't think it leaves enough room for my tongue. So I think that's what causes it. My tongue crashes with my teeth a lot. I mean, that's my theory anyways. I don't know why. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't bug you like it bugs me. But I mean, you just got to learn to accept yourself, I guess, and everything that makes you unique. So I'm a bit more okay with it, but there are times where I'm like, oh, especially if I'm talking to foreigners, they can't seem to understand me because of it. And I'm just like, oh, this is so annoying and embarrassing. But yeah, what can you do about it? Although I was watching the show Good Girls Revolt a while ago. And they mentioned that there's classes to get rid of a lisp. And I was like, what? I didn't know this. I don't think I'd take them anymore. But yeah, it's pretty interesting how there was classes back in like the 60s to get rid of it because it wasn't a proper way of talking. And it's pretty interesting to see how times have changed. Well, that is all for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it and got to know a little bit more about me. Although they were kind of more random facts and facts actually about myself. <laughs> but yes. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't to see more of my content and I hope to see you in my next video. Oh and also in the comments below I would love it if you left two facts about yourself and also what age I look because I always get that I don't look my age but it's either younger or older so I really want to know what you guys think my age is and thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!